Good morning, Hudson High. We'll now observe a moment of silence. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Friday, March 10th, a day six. Do you want revenge for your loss in the senior faculty flag football game? Now is your opportunity. On Thursday, March 16th, the class of 2023 is officially challenging faculty to a basketball game. The game will be held in the gym and will begin at 3 p.m. Seniors who want to participate will fill out a permission slip and have to be signed by their parents or guardians. Varsity basketball players who want to participate but only can do so as coaches. Permission slips are available on the senior class bulletin board outside the second floor in FPOD. Permission slips must be in by Wednesday, March 15th. The first 20 seniors who sign up will be able to play. A spring food drive is being held to support families in need. Please consider donating non-perishable items such as cooking and hygiene basics to the donation boxes in the school cafeteria and refrain from donating mac and cheese. All donations will be sent to the Hudson Community Food Pantry and the drive starts on Monday, March 13th and ends on Friday, March 31st. The pandemic was three years ago, but its devastating effects still remain. There has been a significant increase in food insecurity in Massachusetts since 2020, and we still have the opportunity to make change in our community. Food drives often happen in the winter months, but we tend to forget the spring seasons. Our world shut down on March 13th, 2020, and that's why we're hosting a food drive from March 13th to the 31st to combat the food insecurity induced by the pandemic three years ago. Boxes can be found outside the auditorium in the cafeteria. The Hudson Community Food Pantry is looking for spices, bathroom products, and canned non-perishable goods but please refrain from donating mac and cheese and green beans. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact these emails written below. And don't forget to check out our website. Parents and guardians and juniors are invited to attend Junior Parent Guardian Night on Monday, March 13, 2023 from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at HHS in the E101 Mini Theater. A panel of college representatives will share their expertise on the college admissions process, highlighting the different options available along with tips to assist in the process. Hudson High School's annual spring concert will be held on Thursday, March 16 at 7 p.m. in the Paul Skip Johnson Auditorium. This concert will feature performances by the Hudson High School Concert Band and Jazz Ensemble. Admission is free. Attention all students. Community Council is hosting the HHS Annual Spring Dodgeball Tournament on Friday, March 17th. Sign up with your team of six at all lunches. The cost is $5 per player and $2 per spectator. Costume themes are encouraged. Congratulations to our girls basketball team coming off a big win against Fonfon High School, advancing to the Division III state quarterfinals. Here are some of the highlights. Bounce pass in for Bruce. Yes. And she got the foul. Her pass stolen by Kylie. Bounce pass to Pugh. And a get back and the foul. The ball. Fogarty puts one up as time runs out. And don't miss all the action as the girls take on Norwell tonight at 6 p.m. in Norwell. Check Hudson Athletics Twitter feed at HHS Hawks AD or the Red Sea Instagram at the HHS Red Sea for more fan information. Remind you that the spring registration closes on March 17th. To register, go to the main Hudson High School website, hhs.hudson.k12.ma.us, and click on Athletics, and then click the link to the registration form. Unified Track is looking for students motivated to make a difference. Planning on a career in special education, need community service hours, or looking to exercise with a dose of kindness and fun? Then Unified Track is the answer. 
No track experience is necessary. It's three practices a week, and hours count towards community service requirements, and there is no athletic fee. Registration also closes on Friday, March 17th. Please contact Ms. Winders for more information. Are you working on an editorial, a DBQ, or practicing timed writing for an upcoming AP exam? If you'd like some support or advice, please visit the Writing Center anytime between 2 to 3 on Monday or Thursday. Book us during ARC on any Wednesday or share your Google document with us. Writing tutors are trained to help you as you brainstorm, research, draft, and revise. Come on by and become a better writer. Also, another reminder that the Math Center is now open. If you need help with your math homework, want some extra practice, or need a review for an assessment, but it's a Tuesday, and your teacher has meetings, no problem. Come to the Math Center. No appointment needed. Student tutors will be available to help in G105 on Tuesdays from 2 to 3 p.m. Okay. Finally, don't forget that there is no school on Monday for students due to a staff professional development day. And this past Wednesday was International Women's Day. We leave you today with a tribute to girls and women everywhere. Have a, Have a great, great long, long weekend, weekend Hudson High. I wanted to show all girls that their value and potential is infinite. We clear a woman's way. We don't fear the day she steps into the light because we are with her. Because we are with her every step of that fight. Women have a special opportunity to live the revolution. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down, all alone. These women, together, ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And the men better let them. You have to stop asking for permission. You have to stop. You have to stop. To stop. To stop asking for permission. Women will have achieved true equality when men share with them the responsibility. responsibility of bringing up the next generation. Doubt and dreams can't ride together. Each will take down the other. It is said that girls with dreams become women with vision. Because it isn't enough to simply talk about, about equality. equality. Let us work at it together starting now. That's the history of the world. His story is told, hers isn't. I feel that has to change, and women are going to have to change it. Human rights are women's rights, and women's rights are human rights once and for all. Somewhere downtown, wish for a better life. Unlock the intelligence, unlock the passion, unlock all of the great things that they hold within themselves. Dream with ambition, lead with conviction, and see yourselves in a way that others may not, simply because they've never seen it before. But know that we will applaud you every step of the way. Hashtag her voice matters. Historically, women have had to speak louder to have their voices heard. 33,000 girls become child brides every day. 40% of women have suffered sexual harassment in the workplace. Only six countries give women equal legal work rights as men. This International Women's Day, joy and care. Join care. Join care to make these injustices history once and for all. The words we say and the actions we take today can make a difference for her tomorrow. Share her voice and amplify it around the world. Care.org.